Okay. Does that feel good? It does. <laughs> Is it velvet? Yeah, it's velvet. No, it's not velvet. with honeybee and today we have our guest coach here and we are going to dye his face so this video is for the gentlemen it's actually for the gentlemen and the ladies because some of us like to do our spouses or our friends um, color at home or the men they can do it themselves at home and it's really simple so we just have a few steps here that I'm gonna go through with you um, and I'm gonna tell you what products that I use and most of the stuff that I use is from Sally's um, beauty supply for the hair coloring so we're gonna go I'm gonna go through the steps with you and we're gonna change all of this gray color here on coach's face to black and you know it's not that I don't appreciate my maturity and my age I love it. it's the just gray. you know um, I, gotta, I gotta stay Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it so I'm gonna go through the steps real quickly. We're not gonna keep you all day today. Um, the first part is gonna be me showing you what I do to his face, and then we're gonna come back and show you the end result. Um, after we color Coach's face, he's gonna go ahead and shape up his face with the clippers, like some of you men do. So I always like to use gloves, and the reason is because I am a wax artist in my daytime job, and a YouTuber in my nighttime job, though. <laughs> So I'm a wax artist in my daytime job and I am in and out of gloves all day and I'm with clients and everything like that. So a lot of hairstylists and cosmetologists, they, they'll color without using gloves and the color will get on their hands and it makes it a little bit difficult for them to have clean hands. So I like to wear gloves. Even when I'm waxing my own face and everything, I like to wear gloves. I don't want to do anything to damage my hands because outside of work, I'm super girly. So <laughs> I like to have my nails done and I don't like to have color under my fingernails. So I'm gonna Goodness. use, yeah. So I'm gonna Goodness. use gloves. Even no, me and Coach are um, friends, and you know, he doesn't have the cooties, but I still want to <laughs> use gloves. Thank so you. you're welcome. <laughs> so I do like to go through and just comb all the hair down on the face. So when I do apply the color to Coach's face, you want your mustache too? It's no gray. No gray. No. You just want hair, right? Yeah, it's no gray. In this little face, and you want to keep that. I want to keep that. Yeah, I look at his two little. No, okay, moving on. Turn your head this way. Signature. Signature piece. Yeah. So I just like to comb it down so the color will lay on evenly on Coach's face. And you can find these brushes here. These are coloring brushes at any of your Loki, local Loki, <laughs> Loki, <laughs> local beauty supply store. I I usually shop at Sally's. So and then I have a small brush here for the color. This one here has a color brush on it too. So if Coach did want his mustache done, I probably would use this one, but he doesn't. So we're going to use this one. And I do want to just put a little drape here on Coach so we keep the color off of his clothes. Oh, look at his shirt, his wonderful shirt. Oh, thank it says you. It dream big. I like it. So we're going to cover that up right now, though. Okay, cool. No pun intended. <laughs> you said dream big. <laughs> so we're just going to cover him up right here. And I chose to use the 1A Midnight Black. It's the darkest black. It's the Clairol Professional Beauty Collection, the Advanced Gray Solution. So a lot of times guys go to the barber shop and their barber or their stylist will shape them up and then they'll use like um, a temporary like spray or something like that. This is gonna be a little bit more permanent than just the spray that sometimes the men use in the barber shop. It's gonna last like eight to 10 washes. So probably like two weeks, you know, you gotta wash your face every day. So probably maybe like about two weeks because it's not a permanent hair color, it's a semi-permanent. I don't recommend to use permanent hair color on your face because you have to mix it with developer and sometimes people have sensitive skin. So for the face, we I always like to just go with the um, semi-permanent and you can find this product at your local Sally's and they have other semi-permanent colors as well. So we're gonna use that. But first before, this is so old school. I learned this in beauty school like 10 years ago. <laughs> so they do sell a product at Sally's called product, um, it's called 
project shield or something or repel shield and the purpose of it is is to outline ladies when you're coloring your hair or men when you're coloring your face you want to outline your face so when the hair color is applied you don't want it to get on your face because then it can cause you know breakouts or people's face is sensitive the most thing is you want to be able to get it off the face so this just helps to protect the face from the color staining the face and I know a lot of times I do purple and reds in my hair so a lot of times I'll get color around my neck and my face and sometimes if I forget to do this stuff it'll be um it'll be I'm just gonna take a little bit out of this and you can mix your color or you can utilize the ends of these sticks for anything you want so I'm just gonna take some of that out of this so and I'll just keep sticking my hand back, back in and turn your face a little bit and you don't need a whole lot, so you're just going to rub this on the face. And later, I'll clean it off. And I have um, this product I'm going to show you later on how I clean the color off of the skin. And I have a towel here so I can just utilize that. So this is just a squeeze bottle, so we're just going to open this. And I have a bowl here, and you can find one of these bowls at your local Sally's. And we're just actually going to... Undo this and squeeze. And another thing is, when you're doing small areas of coloring, you don't need to use the whole bottle or the whole tube. You can use product control. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this out of there. And the directions on this is we're going to squeeze it in the bowl, just a small amount, and we're going to save the rest because it doesn't have shelf life. Like it lasts forever. And it just comes out a little bit like this in the bowl, and it's a black color. And I'll just show you, it just looks black on my brush. It's a little more simple, simpler because I, I usually use a um, uh, hair dye, whatever. It's like two products I have to mix together yeah. and stir and shake. So, and then I, when I use it, I use it all. Use it all. So, all right. Yeah, and this bottle is like six bucks or seven bucks. So it's going to last me like two or three times of me being able to do crochet spaces. So you just want to make sure there's not a whole lot of Vaseline in the hair itself because you want the color to stick to the hair. How long are you leaving it? And you're gonna, I'm going to leave this in for about 25 minutes. Turn your head just a little bit, Coach, so I can see what I'm doing. And you want to utilize a small coloring brush so you can... It's kind of just like coloring, like coloring in the lines. You want you want to try to prevent getting a lot of color on the person's face. I'm actually gonna need more, <laughs> but you could just squeeze as needed. So again, you can save your product and you can use it a few times. You don't have to waste it. I like the brush feels nice and soft. It's like brushing your face, right? Yeah. Mm. Remember the Eddie Murphy movie? Mm. Come to America? Yeah, what do you think? What is this, velvet? <laughs> I just need to do that. Why? I like that voice. What is this, velvet? Do you like it, the voice? I like the voice, but I like the way this feels. Feels like velvet. Go away, Graves. You know I me mean? for the grades for me. I don't I know. Go ahead, you can talk. The grades for me. You know, because oh my god, I think I just got it on my face. <laughs> it's okay, is it? I feel like it's splashed. It's okay. Oh, that. You want to get it? I'm just gonna leave the color of my lip. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Mama. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I've seen this. I see this lady do this to her son, y'all, and her teenage son in the store the other day, and I was appalled. I was like, please, please don't do that. What she do? Come here, boy. Oh, my God, DeAndre. No, she was, like, doing it to his eyebrows. Trying to, he had dyed his hair, and she was turning her head this way, and she was, like, trying to see if the dye would come off, and she kept licking her finger. DeAndre would go crazy if I did that to him. He really would. He would go crazy.
This is fun. I like doing stuff to you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. <laughs> I'm gonna do your feet on the video, so everybody can see his toenails flying across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Men's feet, man. And the beauty supply store, the toenail clippers for a man are like 20 times bigger than the toenail clippers yeah, for a woman. Like crunch. <laughs> crunch. This is so off topic. <laughs> so as you can see, let me focus. As you can see, it's very easy. It's very, very easy. And you can do it at home. This is literally like taking no time. You can put your head down. And make sure I got all of the area. And you're gonna keep that right there. Yeah, see? So, we're gonna leave this on Coach's face for about 25 minutes, and we're gonna check back with you guys to let you see the end results. Be back in a second. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. So hello everybody. So now Coach is back from doing his shape up with the clippers. And it's nicely lined here. And we still have a few little grays here. Sometimes you need to leave it on a little bit longer. The product may need to be left on a little bit longer, but a lot of it is gone. Actually, about 95% of it is gone. So he just got a little bit nervous, like if it was gonna be too dark. So we just took it off probably about five or 10 more minutes. And it's like maybe three little gray hairs over here and maybe like one or two over here. But overall, it looks pretty good. Now I have this product here called the Color Track Tools Wipe Off Hair Color Remover. It's like a, like a swap, um, it's just like a wipe. Like you get a handy wipe at a restaurant and you wipe your hands. So it's like in that thing, I'm not gonna open it because fortunately he cleaned up pretty good. The Vaseline did its trick. It didn't get any dye on his skin so I don't need to use this product. But if you do color your hair at home and you need to use a wipe so you could just get one of these at Sally's, they come in a bottle and they come in packs. And I guess that's it for today. So thank you for joining us at the Beauty Parlor. And make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Make sure you subscribe. If you took time to watch the video, hit the subscribe button. And let us get to how many likes? How many likes? 100,000. <laughs> yeah. So sit down. Be humble. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Let us get a few thousand likes on this video. And until next time, thank you again. All of our information will be down in the description below and just, you know, make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.